Okay guys, we got a 2004 Toyota Prius. Um, this is a smart key version. It has the silver logo on the back that identifies it as the smart key access version. Um, there's a black uh, one without the silver logo and that's the non-smart access. So We are going to use the T-Code Pro and the smart dongle. We're going to go to Toyota. We're using beta software. We're going to go to North America. We're going to go to Prius. 04 to 09, since this is a 04. Uh, here it says no smart access or smart access. This is a smart access vehicle, as I was describing earlier. Uh, we're going to, it's a proximity. We're going to choose that. Uh, dongle M on the Prius. Smart dongle in action. That's taking care of your uh, calculations for your calculator. Leave ignition off. Press enter. Okay. It says ECU identification. Keys are programmed in two separate procedures. First, register transponder. Second, register smart remote. Transponder registration needs to be completed before the smart remote registration. Okay, so we're going to register the transponder, then we're going to register the remote. Okay, let's go and do that. I'm going to go to special functions. We're going to go uh, reset transponder ECU is what we want. Okay, reset transponder ECU. Quick reset allows you to program up to two keys. Normal reset allows you to program five keys. Use quick reset yes or no of course we're going to do yes insert key one into the slot okay. just right down here just like that please wait it's trying to communicate look for solid theft light if light is solid then reset was successful okay Right up there on the dash is the solid uh, theft light. See it right there, the little car? Okay, so that tells us we were successful in doing the quick reset for the mobilizer. Remove key from slot. Do you want to program more keys? Okay, we removed it. Do you want to program more keys? No. Insert key one into slot. Just did that. Cycle power button on and off quickly till theft light goes out. Okay. It went out. I was hitting the, the power button right there. Okay. Procedure complete. Okay. So that part's done. Now, we're going to go to... Uh, Reset Smart ECU. Ensure the driver's door is open during the procedure. Okay, this takes 16 minutes, so I'm going to pause the video. We're going to come back um, when it goes to the next screen, and we'll continue on on the next uh, portion of it. Okay guys, we're back with the 2004 Toyota Prius. Um, it came up and it said procedure complete on the smart reset of the ECU. Um, so we're gonna hit uh, enter. Now we're gonna go to register smart. And what that's doing is that's registering the prox buttons itself um, and uh, the, the prox capability. So we're gonna select that. Do you have registered smart keys okay that's asking us if we already have one registered smart key which we do we registered it in step one of this procedure so we're going to hit yes insert key with registered transponder uh, into slot okay we're gonna we're gonna close the door here we're gonna insert it into the slot we're gonna switch the ignition on 
like so. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to open the driver's door. We're going to hit enter. Follow the next screens quickly and carefully. Complete operation within 30 seconds after pressing enter. Okay, we're going to hit enter. Switch ignition off. Remove slot key. Press enter. Press and release the lock buttons on the unregistered smart key for two seconds. Release both buttons. Press lock button till registered smart beeps. And it did. Okay, now it says procedure complete. Okay, that was registering the smart uh, functions of this prox. So there you got it. Um, let's let's test everything out here before we go. Um, we can hit the buttons. We got the door open, so let me close the door. And I'm going to push the buttons here locks and unlocks okay let's try the power button up here let's try to start it there she is she's a runner uh, you, i don't know if you can hear it or not but it is running so go ahead and turn her off and we're done that's it guys um like I said, this procedure takes about, well, you got 16 minutes and you got about two minutes to three minutes programming the transponder part. So, uh, you know, you can do it in under 20 minutes if you're, if you're really paying attention. If you're not paying attention, then um, obviously it's going to take a little bit longer than that. But um, that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing else to do on this one. So thanks for watching and have a good day.